<laughs> Boom! Bang! Pow! Abracadabra. Hello world, hope you're doing well. If not, as always, I hope it gets better for you. Real quick, in this video, we're gonna go through some new fish. What I got from the Tampa Bay auction. We're also gonna do an update on the quarantine, what all's in there. As you can see, some things have changed. Plus, what I plan on doing with it in the future. Plus, quite a few tips here and there on this and that. So let's do it. Time to get this going. Got some cheap green carpet from Home Depot. Measuring at 10 inches for my bottom here. $20 for an 8 by 8 foot. This will make for a nice upgrade for these containers for the bottom of them. That way I can get some towels and some of my shirts back and just make it a little nicer and more permanent. Gonna have to add a bigger tank to this quarantine for some of the fish I got. Get some water out of the pond. Grab some algae plants. Might as well put it to good use. Got the cycled water in it. Got some algae and plants in there. From the Tampa Bay auction, so let's jump into it. This is gonna be the home for these guys. Millennium Orange Albino Rainbow Fish. So this is a nostalgic fish, total impulse buy. I was kinda like, eh, I didn't really need them after I bought them because I didn't really have money to be spending like that anyway. But the nostalgia of them really got to me because I have bred these out before, but the babies were always so hard to raise. I'm gonna try it again with the knowledge that I do now know. And yes, this is a natural fish, believe it or not. It's a xanthic form of a millennium rainbow fish, which a xanthic is just a yellow or golden mutation nature's glowfish you know what time it is fish bath time actually with these bigger fish a little tip on giving fish baths you give just a little cut there on the bottom and anything big sitting in the bag flow right out so you can just run water right through super easy way to really run that fish bath through look at that you guys getting a good bath there you go boy fish bass ftw fish bass for that ass all bait up looking pretty clean a little bubble on the tail get them in their temporary new qt home and you notice the water level is low we'll just add water over time and hopefully they'll breed for me all over these algae and plants in this tight space because when it comes to breeding rainbows the trio's where it's at enjoy hopefully they're not too skittish and for the next ones filled up a few containers here a little bit of fresh water for them also add some of the cycled pond water. These I'm gonna fill up a little more. I don't have to add too much to the inlers. A little more space. I'm gonna go ahead and add some algae plants for them. Give them some nice places to hide and also eat off of. And the reason I have so many is for these El Tigra inlers. Check those out. I've always wanted these. They have a huge colony times two. So that'll really get me going on them. Yeah. Let's give these guys give these guys a bath and what I'll do is be real careful that the corners don't smush your fish But I'll take out some pears I'll pair them up and then I'll put the fry in their own container that way they can grow up without being predated and Got a shrimp in there These little babies You got a free scud in there and yes, I'm gonna keep the scud and the shrimp. The other bag was loaded with them. Get a better look at them. Kind of like lime green inlers, but wow, they'll breed true like that. Not like it was worked out of a black bar inler. But man, that bag was loaded. And another shrimp. Those two bags pretty much filled all these up with fish. And next up, oh, the light came on. Gingaruba. Rainwater cat. Very interesting. Soft water in there. This is also another inler type that I've always been wanting is the Rubra. These things used to be super expensive. I don't know if they still are. But I got me some. Finally. I just like their pattern. There we go. And last but not least, we've got another thing I've been wanting for quite some time now that I got some better water. Got some crystal black bee shrimp caradinas from the Garden of Ear. Big shout out to him for giving me these beauties. Cause look at them, the gorgeous, gorgeous. And yes, these guys get a bath too. And these guys are actually gonna be experimental for me. I have some water parameters that they like, but I'm not sure the GH and KH in 
it now. I do got a test for that, but I'm gonna try to keep these without having to worry about RO and remineralization. Now that I know about dirty tanks a lot better and things that they like, I should be able to follow through with it. So we'll see if the cage thing is really real. Hopefully they do all right. Super excited about them. Had some dirty aquarium water in there with them. And that should do it from what I got from Tampa this weekend. These guys are actually only gonna stay in this container for a day. I'm gonna move them into that. Maybe give them a couple rock piles. That's got sand and other stuff in it that they can pick at. I've just got to get the fish out of there first. Believe it or not, you can't see them right now, but there is fish in there. Run you guys through the quarantine area and the future of what it's going to end up looking like kind of the plan still got these big galaris in here below tried to breed them guy has some issues you can see on his scales i think he has some flukes so i put some general care in there see what happens here looks like i got some babies but i've got some micro pacelia picked this you can see the adults hanging here Fish do not like to be on the ground like this, especially if they feel vibrations and don't have any top cover. That's why I try to provide catapa leaves in. And in here where I'm going to put the crystal blacks, I've got some blue melazona microprocellia paree. And in here, since I'm not constantly getting stuff, I've just been housing killifish and a few whatnots. Some could actually probably be moved. Here I've got the bivotatum, lagos red. Cool fish, look at that. Who well, else the females? And a few empties. Then up here, we've got the Yohiki orange line, but I've got the whites, the white ones. Did you see that jump? That I kept separated. Whoa, whoa, easy buddy, easy, calm down. Jumpy little things were Procatopus similis. Really neat fish. I wanna pick it up and show you guys, but. Oh, those were taped together. No wonder that was so hard to pick up. Let me pick these guys out. Hopefully they don't jump. They're usually really blue. Man, they are spaztastic. Oh, kind of blue and red fish. What are you doing, spazoids? There you can kind of see his color a little more. Get them in a dirty planted tank. They'll shine. Got a couple of pair of those. Those are definitely rare fish. Gardneri gold. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Uh, Gardneri P82. Gardneri gold. Near any females. Now up here I've got a bunch of random stuff. I guess I could put these bibs back down. Where the logo's red. Female logo's red. The Cribbianus that you guys seen from the other videos. They're both hiding right now. Still got some Walker Eye Epsian. I did try to braid some of these, but didn't get any eggs. I had to watch them because they will battle. I'll show you guys here in another room. But I do got some baby unscoo sunk. There it is back there. Hard to pick up. This camera, I don't know. I think I broke my macro camera. And then a pair of blue glars. These will do. I just separate down there, battling a little bit. Walk right there. Some cuddle up real nice. Some pairs do end up getting along really well. And then up here, more killifish. These are the filamentosis. They'll color up even more. Get them in a planted tank, and that way they're not so washed out. But beautiful, beautiful fish. And there's a bunch of those. And then I've got some degettis here. Really, man, it was looking good. And then it just like, <laughs> got out the 3G Aquatics. Appreciate that, getting these. All right, so there's that rack. And then we got a kitty, she's sleeping. Nothing in there. We've got a bunch more pictas in here. A lot of the pictas. Kind of went ham. I got a good deal on them. And then also some plants that I've been quarantining for quite some time. Those have been in there for months now. It's just kind of a tank at this point. And then here are some red endlers. These need to go in the fish room too. Got some of those blue micro pacellias in here, as well as the lucipennis are still in here. Been in there forever. Because I don't want to put them with my big lucipennis. I want to wait until I get their tank established, so they're kind of, they're going to be in a temporary for a while. Then I got a lid on this one because I've got a bunch of little rabbit snails and some big ones. Some leaf litter in there with them. Threw some, threw quite a bit of GH booster in that one just to help with their shells. And if I don't put a lid on there, they will climb out. You'll find them on the carpet. And as you can see, this isn't here anymore. I move those into here. 
As you guys saw the rainbows down here. I need to get them a katapa leaf or a lid because see how finicky they are when I move? It stresses them out. So they definitely not going to breed all my algae that way. I mean, you need to get a top, keep them comfortable. But slowly working into this space. All those El Tigra endlers I was showing you guys. And the crystal black still doing good after their bath. All you guys hear them knocking around? See, they spaz. Oh, it's not good. Crystal blacks. Still doing good after their bath, all of them. Still got the golden wonders gone here. What I, I did lose a female because one of the males beat her up. It was not nice. Gardeneri female. More Gardeneri females. Another gold Gardeneri. Uh, that's actually a female Bugular. Chilling down there. There is a male. Yeah, there he is. Do still got a male blue glorious in here too, of course. Not gonna see him well back there. And that male and that female are actually healing up because they were beating each other up. So I kind of had to split them back up. This is that one. I had that Walichi, Rotalia Walichi plant in. It's back. At, it's in the fish room now. A lot of this stuff could go in the fish room. I just haven't had time. And then here we got the Yohiki Orange after pulling them from quarantine. They ended up leaving me with some babies, which was cool. The bread a little bit in quarantine. Uh, another filamentosis. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful fish. Next to it, I've just got a striatum all the way down it. Once again, another beautiful fish. It's not doing it any justice in this lighting. It's gonna be hard to get a good shot of these guys, but if you go on my website, I do have pictures of these, and these are available. Since they're rare fish, I like to share it with people who have time to breed them. And I mean, some of these, if you just want a cool show fish, I am able to get some of these for now. I don't know how many I'll be able to get, in the future so get them while they're hot especially with cooler weather some of those killifish guys stop shipping after a while but i can do it all year round it's just whether i could get them all year round and last but not least you guys just seen wesley's fish tank here the 55 gallon which everybody is doing great in here absolutely loving this tank glory doors are really cool in here they've been getting fat and healthy and i know eco complete's not the best for quarry doors and it can rub their barbells down but they do have options where to sift whether they can sift through all these rocks or they can sift through all this and this is still only temporary for them because it's still only a quarantine tank. The one fish that will always be in here will be these platies because those are for Wesley. But really to show these laser quarries, I want to get them on a white sand. They'll really color up a lot more that way. Then we got the cell fin shiners. We got the mascara barbs. If you want to see more of those, check out the video that was before this. I did a whole build video on this aquarium because it's simple. It's no tech. There's no filter, no airline, no light, no nothing. Aquarium, plants, substrate fish water hooray in here really hard to see washed out in here but once we get them in the fish room i'll be getting better pictures and videos of them and for the future plans we're gonna watch this grow out so stay tuned subscribe for that being no tech should be interesting to see how it all plays out even though i've been doing this a long time i've kind of got a good idea of how it'll play out i want to Put those fish in a situation if i didn't think it was gonna work and many of you guys have been following me for a long time no i've been doing no tech for a long time because that's pretty much that's pretty much what these are these are all no tech container plants the fish the algae this doesn't even have the substrate been doing this for years in tank situations it's not science it's mother nature and the essence is all around in the air we breathe and the water we drink and this section will pretty much stay the same and grow over time i'm guessing this will probably stay here we'll probably end up getting the tanks from the bottom here and i want to build racks over here that way i can actually see better for my fish than through these containers and we'll probably do tens maybe some 30s maybe put plants on top we'll see we'll just wrap it around this corner I want to cut this wall out and put a door, glass door here. That way we can see our pond from that side. I think that'll be sweet. So that's a lot of work just to deal with that area, but that'll be awesome when I get to it. So stay tuned for that as well. And I'll probably make easier water change systems for it like I built at the old house too. Since quarantining and meds require more water changing than say if your fish are just chilling in their permi tanks. Which brings me to here. We're going to open this barn up, start getting into the build. Tell you what's been going on inside here since you guys are all caught up with what's been going on in the quarantine house real cool stuff happens in here so hit the subscribe button hit the like button if you want to see more know your thoughts or comments hit them down below and i'll see you guys on the next one peace have a good one